You have been lied to watching the ball better, watching it more closely, keeping your head down on the ball longer is not going to improve your tennis game. You cannot be serious. That's right. I said it. I know. Many of you are thinking, what? How can he say that? Of course watching the ball is going to make me a better player. I, I'm always taking my eyes off the ball. That's why I miss. I, I yell at myself that I need to be focused more. Try harder. Watch the ball longer. Keep your head down. That's why I'm missing, right, coach? That is not why you're missing. No matter how many videos you watch on watching the ball better, closer, keeping your head down on the ball longer, for most of you, I'm not saying all of you, for most of you, this is not the reason you are missing. And I'm going to prove it to you in this video. And the crazy thing is I can't tell you how many times I've been videoing somebody and they miss a shot. And the first thing they do is yell at themselves like, watch the ball or focus, concentrate, don't be lazy. Like you think that the answer is always that you must not be trying hard enough, that you're just kind of like, you know, spacing out on the court. But I'm telling you, the people that I teach, you're totally obsessed tennis players. No one tries harder than you. Who am I talking to right now? I'm talking to those 3-0 to 4-5 players who are adults. This is mostly who I'm talking to. The kids do tend to space out more than the adults, but especially the adults who come visit me to train with me. By the way, if you're interested in training with me, if you're interested in, in training with me here in Atlanta, if you're interested in training with me over in Spain and in Paris and South America or going to the Western Southern Open with me, then I put in a link below. Fill that out if you want to train with me. But the people who come train with me, they are the hardest working, best students I've ever had. And when you miss the shot and you yell at yourself to watch the ball closer, I'm looking at your eyes. Your eyes are like as big as a grapefruit. I'm looking at your face. It's all tense. And you're like focused, like you're just crazily focused on the ball. You are trying 150%, which as a coach, I love. That's why I love teaching you guys. It is not that you are not watching the ball. Do you want to know the answer? Of course you do. The real reason you're missing is lack of awareness here in the racket head, in the racket face. So it has to do with more lack of racket head awareness and now you're hitting the ball. And I'm gonna show you some clips. I'm gonna take the, the people's faces out of it. We'll be focused more on the racket head, but these are actual students from camps and you can see that their racket face, when they're going to hit the ball, they don't have the awareness. They don't have the awareness from a basic shadow stroke up until when they're actually playing real tennis. And so the first thing that you need to do is you need to take your shadow stroke seriously. You need to be able to volley, practice a practice volley, and make sure that you know exactly where the racket is. So if I want to volley right to the camera right now, I want to be here and I want my strings to finish here. I don't want to volley and then see like these volleys that I'm doing, these are the kind of things you guys do, breaking your, that's why you're missing. So you're watching the ball, but you're not aware that your racket face is up there or down there. And, and it really comes to how do you start to, first of all, master your racket at awareness. You've got to really be good at your grips. You've got to know, if I ask you, hey, what grip are you using on your forehand? You've got to know, well, I use a continental grip, or I use an eastern grip, or I use a semi-western grip. And you have to know what that does to the racket face. So if I'm using a continental grip, sure, I can, I can still hit, but I've got basically no room for error, and I've got to kind of manipulate my wrist up to the ball. I want to put some topspin on it and close the racket head a little bit as I'm hitting it, so by the time I hit it, it has a chance to go in. If I'm slightly off, especially if you want to hit the ball hard, I compare it to golf. If you are a little off, think about this. If I'm playing golf, and I bring club head speed into the, into the ball, if I am just the tiniest bit off, what's going to happen? I'm going to be way off. I'm going to be in the woods. I'm going to clunk it into the ground. The results are just all over the place. Well, tennis is kind of the same way. If you bring racket head speed into the ball and you're just a little off. See, if I, if I go and I swing fast at this ball, guess what's going to happen? It's going to fly into the fence. Just being not far off. If I'm, if I'm hitting the ball and I, and I hit the ball this way, right? Especially now if I come beneath it and do that, guess what? I can still make it. 
But if I actually hit on top of the ball this way, where's it going to go? It's going to go down. It's going to go down the net. So you have to know and be very aware of racket head awareness. Most people think volleys are relatively simple. It's like, you know, just don't swing. Put your racket out in front. Keep your racket still. Volleys are simple, but they're actually complex as well. So you've got to know what is racket head awareness. To me, this sums up racket head awareness perfectly. If I'm down here, I know if I have my racket face like this, my volley is going to go over the net. If I have my racket face like that, look how much I've changed it. I've barely changed it. That volley is going to go in the net. And if I have my racket face like this, that volley is going to go about three, four feet out. See, let me prove it to you. Watch again. So we'll go into the net. This volley is going to go into the net. Right now, watch the change that I make to make it go over the net. Barely any change. How am I able to do that? It's racket at awareness. And then watch this volley go out. Watch this volley go out. See? Racket head awareness. So knowing your grips, knowing your contact point. I'm telling you, what you want to start to do, just like I caught these students on camera who are trying 150%, they're watching the ball, yet they're yelling at themselves that they're not watching the ball. You want to video yourself and you want to identify like, oh, wow, I wasn't aware that when I did a shadow swing, that's why you have to start with shadow swings. Start with shadow swings and go, oh, wow, I wasn't aware that when I do a shadow swing on my forehand or my backhand that the ball actually goes out or is going to go into the net or is going to go sideways. Same thing with your serve, especially if you're switching to the continental grip. Most people who switch to the continental grip and they do shadow swings, they're like the video I was showing you. The racket face is actually here. They're not, they don't know how to bring and orient the racket into the proper contact point, into the proper contact point so they're actually in the ball. That takes knowing the swing pass and being aware of your racket head and how it's going to hit the ball and what's going to happen after that. By the way your racket impacts the ball, it's going to be able to put topspin on the ball or slice on the ball. It's going to make the ball go higher or lower, faster. All that is done with racket head awareness. So the next time you miss a shot, Rather than simply blaming your eyes that you're not watching the ball, start to go, wow, is my racket head awareness where it really needs to be in my game? So I hope you enjoyed this video. You know what's usually a big challenge as well for people? That is the serve. That's why I've got a free serve course for you right now up here in the card section. I believe it's right up there or up there. I always get disoriented when I'm doing the video, but it's somewhere in the corner. You'll see an eye pop out. I'm going to give you 33 free videos, 33 vi free videos on the serve because the serve is a big one. It's got the most moving parts. So I'm going to give you a free serve course called Serving A to Z. Sign up right now. Get yourself started. I'll also put in the description box. Also, if you want to travel and train with me, I'm putting that link as well below. Give this video a like. Subscribe. We'll see you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching today.